my fiancé and I, M32, F29, don't want to invite a friend, F30, to our wedding. Hannah and I met in Miami after I graduated from college and clicked immediately. My fiancé Cal and Hannah are cousins, not actually related but parents were friends so they grew up together. So Hannah introduced me and Cal and things were great. We got engaged last summer and are finally thinking about planning a wedding. Cal and I moved to Chicago about two years ago since he was going to grad school, so I haven't seen Hannah since then what with travel restrictions and all. We kept in touch, complaining about the pandemic and the stress. Hannah did have it rough since she was trying to get into school but didn't in the last year and a half, broke up with her boyfriend and was struggling a bit. Hannah came to visit us in Chicago last week and things were not great. I guess I never noticed it before but she was just constantly drinking. She finished at least two bottles of wine by herself a day outside of what we had going out for meals. Cal and I had bought a crate of wine from a vineyard thinking we'd have some to stock our cabinet, but she finished eight bottles herself in the week or so she was here. We invited some friends nearby to hang out, and she was just embarrassing and stressful the entire time. She was messy, took pride in how messy her life was, things like bad credit, bad dates, bad job situations etc. She was obnoxious, overly loud and talking about inappropriate things while at dinner, and was always three or four drinks deeper than other people. We then tried doing stuff with just us and Hannah but she was too hungover to participate. I guess long story short is, I don't really want to deal with that behavior during my baccalaureate or wedding. I don't want to be policing her all week again, and I'm just over it. But at the same time I'm also worried about her. She mentioned she was getting shaky if she doesn't drink. I don't know what to say or even if I should say anything. Because hers and Cal's parents are friends we were at least considering inviting her parents as well. So that's a bit weird too. Cal is on board with me and worried about how she'd act slash what she'd say in front of our family slash friends, so at least we agree. Too long didn't read. Friend was stressful and obnoxious during visit, I don't want her around family at my wedding. You don't have to invite anyone who you don't want to invite to your wedding. Obviously you will have to face the consequences of not inviting her, she will be sad about it and you will have to decide what to say to her. What you tell her is totally up to you. I completely get why you don't want her there and that's fine, you absolutely do not have to invite her. It's your day and you don't need the stress of trying to manage her. But from what you've said this person has a drinking problem, she's being an asshole because she has a drinking problem. The shaking is withdrawals because she's an alcoholic. He needs rehab. It is actually dangerous for her to stop drinking on her own at this point. DT can kill you. She needs help and maybe not being invited to a wedding because of that will help her realize she has a problem. It won't be easy but I'd mention her drinking is a problem and she should seek help. I would be concerned about her drinking. She sounds like she's suffering. Eight bottles of wine in a week. Holy shit. We tried to ask her what's going on. If she doubles down or gets upset, then you have your answer and definitely don't have to invite her. You also don't have to invite anyone you don't want to, so if you don't want to have a conversation about her drinking you don't have to and she won't be there. I think your friend is going through some shit. She needs help. The acting out is definitely a symptom of something deeper. Sit down and talk to her, she probably doesn't realize the extent of the problem yet. She introduced you to so she will definitely feel slighted if you don't invite her. I, 28F, think my dad, 62M, and husband, 29M, conned me into marrying him. My dad has personally picked all of my siblings' spouses. When I was 20, I had a boyfriend who I believed was the love of my life. I wanted to marry him but my dad didn't approve. He didn't like his family, didn't like his career aspirations and didn't think he was man enough. He ended up driving him away. After that, I vowed to myself that I would never marry the man my dad picked for me. When I met my current husband, my dad hated him at first which just made me like him more. We've been married for close to two years and our relationship is really good. My dad did a complete 180 after we got engaged and he started treating my husband really well. I assumed it was because he realized that no matter what he said or did, I would marry him. I'm currently staying with my older sister and 
and she said something that makes me suspect that they both ran a long con on me and everyone but me knew. I was telling her how I was surprised by the fact that my dad really liked my husband and she said you're not that stupid right? Dad wanted you to marry him from the start. I told her she was wrong and that my dad didn't even know my husband until I introduced them, and she gave me a look like I was really dumb. I tried to ask her for more information, but she told me to just forget it. I get this isn't much to go on but I just have a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach right now. I have a good marriage. I'm genuinely happy but I also feel extremely angry now. I go home in two days and I want to confront them both but I don't know what to say. I also don't want to cause issues in case it isn't true and I'm misunderstanding. What do I say? Too long didn't read, dash my dad has picked all of the spouses of my siblings. I made it clear I wouldn't marry someone he picked for me. However, my sister said something that makes me suspect that they may have conned me. She told me my dad wanted me to marry my husband from the start and looked at me like I was stupid when I said she was wrong. How did you meet your husband? Maybe that will provide a clue. Did you meet him in a way your dad couldn't have been involved in, like at school or something? Does your dad know his family? I met him through my brother slash sister-in-law. My dad knew of my husband's family but I don't think they had a relationship as he used to say they weren't good people which was one of the reasons he didn't like him at first. How is it that your other siblings are okay with your father picking out their spouses? Since this is common knowledge has everyone accepted it and are happy with your father's matchmaking? Your husband was introduced to you by a family member so didn't you suspect that your spouse was selected for you like your siblings spouses was selected for them? My siblings value different things to me. Their wants were more in line with the type of matches my dad found. No, I didn't suspect. Looking back this was probably naive, because my dad usually directly introduced the person. He's never been secretive about it, and just before I met my husband he had stopped arguing with me over it and seemed to have accepted that I wasn't going to budge. I can't tell if a lot of these commenters are playing dumb or are just on the sociopath side but like, if your guess proves right get out of that relationship. Obviously the best case here is that your sister is just stirring the pot for some reason not good either but at least relatively minor. If your dad and husband knew each other beforehand or worse had some kind of arrangement and this was innocent, either your husband or father would have mentioned it beforehand husband especially. If they purposefully didn't mention it that's shady as all hell. It sort of gently approach your husband about it, saying something about how your sister mentioned your dad always liked him. Did they ever have a conversation or something? Ask your other siblings or family members if you can as well. What makes you think your husband was in on your dad's behavior? Backslash carrot backslash carrot backslash carrot totally this. From what is in the post, it doesn't read like your father knew him before you did. Is there a possibility that maybe it was your father's psychological trick? but your husband was unaware. So, why is your sister resisting telling you all of the details? That's completely the formula for causing doubt and drama. Here's another question, does your sister like your husband? The comments here are not sitting right with me. If your husband went along in any way with some type of psychological plan to push you into marrying him that is disgusting and insanely concerning. You've only been married for two years, dating for how long? It's incredibly easy to have a good marriage and keep up an image in the beginning years of a partnership. There are entirely too many possibilities and I would absolutely bring it up with your husband in a way that, for lack of a better term, corners him a bit. If you're, falsely, confident in what you know he's much more likely to tell you the truth. It's absolutely possible your dad only knew of your current husband and he was the one who decided to be a complete idiot and attempt to fool his stupid daughter into marrying someone he approved of. If that's the case it sounds like your whole family already knows your dad is a tool, and you should dictate your relationship with him however you see fit. If your husband went through an entire farce of acting like he didn't know your father, as you speculate in the comments, that is in no way a lie by omission, that is insanely deliberate manipulation and it's so crazy that a man who is supposed to love and value you would implement that type of half-baked plan with your father. It sheds light on how he views you, your intelligence, and your ability, alright, 
to make individual, informed decisions. This is absolutely not something you should ignore because you've been happy for a measly two years. My 21 F boyfriend 22 meters, is making us move into a bigger apartment so his brother can move in despite us agreeing it wouldn't work out. I saw someone else going through a similar issue but their boyfriend seems to also not want another person in their apartment. So my situation is slightly different, my boyfriend and I have lived together for a little while and he wants to upsize to a two bedroom despite it only being two of us. So, I found out that he wants his brother to live with us despite me saying I don't think that's a great idea, I don't really want that, etc etc. My boyfriend sees it as a way to save money, the way he sees it he and I will have more money because there will be a third person here to help with rent and utilities. Which is technically true I guess. But, I don't really like his brother I've met him at a few birthday parties and he's just really obnoxious and loud, which so is my boyfriend when he plays video games. Having two of them, not ideal for me. So apparently despite my best efforts my boyfriend's brother is currently going to stay with a friend for a while until my boyfriend and I get a two bedroom apartment then he will move in with us. I didn't know this arrangement and my boyfriend only told me this morning after I asked him if his brother was still moving to our area. I told my boyfriend no. I don't want that, I don't want a two bedroom I don't want to move everything down two flights of stairs then potentially back up more stairs. We aren't struggling with bills or anything. My boyfriend agreed with me about the moving stuff yesterday when he mentioned having a two bedroom and a roommate would be nice. But when I told him no today, he stopped talking to me entirely. Kept saying he was fine and didn't want to talk about it. I know relationships are built on compromises sometimes but, this seems like a huge step. Too long didn't read, boyfriend has plans to upgrade to a bigger apartment despite me not wanting it so his brother can live with us. Boyfriend won't even talk to me about it. I don't want this to be a fight. Update, so it looks like his family won't take his brother in and I followed the advice of someone's comment and told my boyfriend that if we do move into a bigger space that I'm not putting my name on the lease and he and his brother can do that in case I need to pack up and leave. Edit, we worked it out. His grandparents are going to let his brother stay with them and he apologized to me and his brother agreed the space is too small. Edit typo. Let him and his brother share the two bedroom apartment, and you find yourself a nice place elsewhere. Brother is currently going to stay with a friend for a while until my boyfriend and I get a two bedroom apartment then he will move in with us. Your boyfriend's plan is to get you to sign a lease with him, and his brother not being on the lease. That means that you are stuck there for a year with him and his brother, while the brother has no obligations at all. Tell your boyfriend that he and his brother can sign the lease and live there and you might visit, but you will not be under any obligation to house his brother for a year. Say no. Straight up. Also your BF can't make you do anything. He isn't the boss of you. Refuse to move. If he insists show him the door. He's making you? That's not a relationship. You get to decide on your living conditions. He doesn't get to decide for you. If he wants to live with his annoying brother so badly and doesn't particularly care if you're okay with it or not, maybe they should go get a two bedroom place themselves. I don't get why your BF thought it would be okay to decide for you who you live with. Now he's gonna do the silent treatment until you give in. There are some longer term red flags here.